Avenue. They are in the center divider. It's keeping things busy out in Burbank from Olive Avenue. It's going to stay slow over towards the uh, 170. Eastbound side of the 101, near Coldwater, we had a disabled big rig. Looks like that's starting to clear up. Traffic's still busy, though. Out of the Sepulveda Basin from Balboa, it's going to be solid all the way over towards Coldwater Canyon, then clears up, trying to get out of the Hollywood portion of the 101. Uh, over on uh, PCH going northbound, we have this road work that's happening. Taking away the right lane of PCH going northbound near the California Incline. They're doing some tree trimming operations. That's now starting to back up traffic onto the Santa Monica Freeway going west. It's going to be slow from Lincoln, trying to get uh, through the tunnel onto PCH. It's all the genuineness of an in and out burger times two. The in and out double double. Double meat, double cheese, double fresh. Come taste the difference. Your next report, 1205 with Tom Tran. More traffic points more on. KNX 1070 News Radio. Southern California weather forecast to partly cloudy skies today. Uh, 70s your highs in downtown uh, Ashley and uh, the Beach areas. We're looking at downtown Los Angeles and the LA and Orange County metro areas in the mid to upper 80s. Mid 90s valleys partly cloudy tonight with overnight lows in the 60s. Right now it is 76 degrees in downtown Los Angeles. Among our top stories, of California's Attorney General making his case for suing President Trump to duck his supporters. Details in three minutes. It's 11.57. No matter how snarled Southern California freeways get in the afternoons, with more reporters, more traffic reports, and more coverage of the areas you drive most, KNX helps make sure you're listening on all cylinders. Traffic every 10 minutes on the fives on the KNX Afternoon News. Today starting at 2, Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station, KNX 1070. through the summer. It's time to replace it. You go with your typical air conditioning company and you'll get shoved into a package deal. Package A, B, and C. <laughs> Don't be fooled. It's a manipulation. Don't bust it. They know you'll pick the middle package every time. They're pushing you into their highest profit deal. The guys at Southland Heating and Air Conditioning don't play games. They treat every situation as totally unique. Dave, Matt, and Ray have 60 years combined experience and will look for the best possible solution at the most competitive price. Southland rates five stars on Yelp, A on Energy's List, and they're A plus rated by the BBB. Qualify for special energy efficiency financing and for a limited time, save $1,500 on a new custom install and get the Nest Thermostat Bundle for free. Visit SouthlandHeatingAndAir.com or call 866-361-6568. 866-361-6568. 866-361-6568. Must purchase Southern California Energy Efficient Systems. Some restrictions apply. CSLV number 7976 works by 9317. From PBS and Emmy Award winning directors Ken Burns and Lynn Noden comes a landmark documentary event, The Vietnam War. What was it all about? What was it for it was extremely traumatic, like the ground was suddenly cut from under you. See the series Vanity Fair calls, a monumental achievement, the Vietnam War. Tune in or stream, starting Sunday at 8, 7 central, only on PBS. We don't just carry our boxes to their destination. We carry your business. We carry your growth, your love of your products, and your service. When you hand your product over to us, we know how important it is to you, so we make it just as important to us. It's as if your entire store is right there in our hands. That's why at the United States Postal Service, we deliver more e-commerce packages to homes than anyone else in the country. The United States Postal Service. Priority for you. Mr. Charles Hunter. Olivet Nazarene University believes that an education unlocks a person's potential. They believe an educated person has a positive impact on his or her community. They believe that education is not something to be contained, but imparted to the world. They believe it in you. Learn more at graduate.olivet.edu. Olivet Nazarene University. Where you are, where you will be. Broadcasting live from the Southern California BMW newsroom. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Find a dealer at SoCalBMW.com. KMX 1070 AM HD, AM HD 2, Los Angeles. KMX 1070 News Radio. Coming up, it's our top local story. Orange County Sheriff deputies make an aggressive push into homeless camps along the Santa Ana River. LA County supervisors choose sides in the fight over DACA. It could take years for the Florida Keys to fully recover from Hurricane Irma. These stories plus your traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the fives. CBS News is next at 12 noon. CBS News, I'm Pam Coulter.
President Trump will visit Florida on Thursday, where residents are trying to pick up the pieces following Hurricane Irma. This man in Bonita Springs says it's an uncertain future. I don't know how long it's going to take. Don't know how long I'll be able to move back in and actually live a normal life again. People are starting to go home and see the damage in their neighborhoods. CBS's Steve Futterman is in Tampa. The damage assessment from the Florida Keys is shocking. FEMA says 60% of homes on the group of islands are damaged. 25%, one quarter of the homes, have been destroyed. Florida Governor Rick Scott. Here in the Keys, with the trailer parks, it's like everybody just tipped everything over. You're just praying that everybody's alive. Many residents are still not being allowed back. I stayed in a hotel room for a couple days. The money ran out. Now I'm just waiting to get back in. So many places are inaccessible that ships are now being used to bring rescue crews and relief supplies. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Tampa. Georgia Congressman Barry Loudermilk and his wife were treated and released from the hospital after a car accident in Tennessee. Their car was struck from behind by another vehicle, flipping it over several times. They were returning to D.C. after helping with storm response in Georgia. President Trump says the U.N.'s latest sanctions on North Korea, which include a ban on textile exports and limiting some oil imports, don't go far enough. CBS's Stephen Portnoy. The president said it was nice that the U.N. Security Council voted 15 to nothing to ramp up sanctions on North Korea, but he says the package, which his own U.N. ambassador called the strongest ever, isn't strong enough. Those sanctions are nothing compared to what ultimately will have to happen. Mr. Trump speaks to world leaders at the annual meeting of the U.N. General Assembly in New York next week. Texas Senator Ted Cruz is blaming a staffer for the like of a pornographic image by his official Twitter account last night. We're dealing with it internally, uh, but it, it was a mistake. It was not malicious conduct. The 2016 presidential candidate joked that if he had known this would trend so quickly, perhaps he should have posted something like this during the Indiana primary. What toys deserve to get into the Toy Hall of Fame? If you didn't think Sand was a toy, think again. It's one of 12 finalists vying for a place in the National Toy Hall of Fame. What's it up against? My Little Pony. My Little Pony, the Pez candy dispenser, and the old paper airplane. Curator Chris Bentz with other contenders that have been trying to win. Whiffle Ball, which is a four-time finalist, never made it in. Magic 8 Ball has been a finalist six times. A national selection. The Election Advisory Committee will announce the two or three toy inductees in November. Matt Piper, CBS News. Checking stocks, the Dow is up 42 points, NASDAQ down one, the S&P up four. This is CBS News. And this is Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station, KNX 1070 News Radio. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Seatons. Our top local story now at 12.03, the Orange County Sheriff's Department has the go-ahead now to crack down on crimes in a huge homeless encampment along the Santa Ana River Trail. KNX 1070's Cooper Rummel working this story. He is live for us now in Santa Ana. The OC Board of Supervisors has okayed the Sheriff's Department's proposal to increase the number of deputies patrolling the Santa Ana Riverbed. They'll be working with neighboring police agencies to cut down on sex crimes, assaults, drug use, and trespassing. Supervisor Todd Spitzer says it's just one aspect of a multifaceted approach to making the riverbed a safe place for residents. It's affecting business. It's affecting people's residence. It's affecting people's quality of life. They're worried about communicable diseases. They're worried about their kids, and they have a right to be concerned. Advocates for the homeless say they are not opposed to cracking down on crime in the riverbed, but they're concerned that people living in the encampment may be harassed by law enforcement, which will now be patrolling the area seven days a week. Reporting live in Santa Ana, Cooper Rummel, KNX 1070 News Radio. Taking a stand against the dismantling of DACA and providing support for dreamers. That's the plan being pushed today by Los Angeles County Supervisors. It's a package of measures, most symbolic in nature, to show the political sympathies of the board on the issue. Supervisor Hilda Solis says a large part of that is a direct call for action in Washington. To encourage the President Trump and the Congress to move quickly on passing legislation that would codify the DACA program. Other aspects of the motion call for continued financial and legal aid, as well as directing county officials to provide attention for DACA recipients and their families who could be impacted over the six-month to two-year phase out of the program. A more controversial part of the package, a one-year ban on some travel by county employees to nine states whose attorney generals have indicated they want DACA repealed may not get unanimous support of the board. At the Hall of Administration, Pete Demetrio, KNX 1070 News Radio. California's attorney general fine-tunes his case against President Trump over canceling the DACA program. We'll tell you about that in less than two minutes. 
Right now it's 12.05. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 5. Here's Tom Tran. Still a bit of slowdowns on PCH going northbound. Got some Caltrans tree trimming operations happening over near the California incline. It's backing up traffic onto the Santa Monica freeway going westbound. It's going to slow right before you get to the tunnel on the PCH once you get past uh, Chautauqua, things clear up heading into Malibu. Over on the 134 going westbound, told about a crash. A couple of vehicles involved in this one right before Cuenga Boulevard. It was initially reported near the 170, but it's a little closer to Cuenga. Off to the center divider, causing a little bit of a slowdown from Olive Avenue. Believe it or not, that's actually better than it was earlier. Southbound side of the 5, Golden State Freeway, still busy. Uh, heading out of Burbank. We've got some Caltrans work happening down near Los Feliz Boulevard. That's got traffic backed up from 134, making its way down towards Dodger Stadium. And then we had a crash on the northbound side of the 5 near Stadium Way. That's got traffic slow out of East L.A. Your next report, 1215. It's all Trans. More traffic for tomorrow on KNX 1070 News Radio. Check now our Southern California weather forecast. Uh, Friday cloudy skies today. We're looking at the beach highs in the 70s. Uh, mid to upper 80s for Los Angeles and Orange County metro areas and the mid 90s in the valleys. Uh, tonight, partly cloudy overnight lows mid 60s. And then tomorrow after the clouds and fog burn off, sunshine. But a little bit cool. Talking upper 60s and 70s beaches. Make that upper 60s and lower 70s in the beaches. Upper 70s and 80s in the inland and valley areas. And the further ahead, you're exclusive. Five-day weather forecast, just a few minutes away. That's coming up at 12.15 right now. Sunny skies and 76 degrees in downtown Los Angeles. It's 12.06 on KLX. California's Attorney General has spoken with Doc Vitis to discuss the next steps after suing the Trump administration for phasing out the program. KLX 1070's Karen Adams live now with more. The roundtable discussion for the Ronald Reagan building focused on what the roughly 200,000 DACA recipients in the state should be doing and what Congress should be doing. We wouldn't have this problem if Congress were to act and address the plight of the dreamers. And so uh, here's our plea to all the members of Congress. Please move. Move quickly. Move before October 3rd. Get this done. Attorney General Javier Becerra says in the meantime, DACA recipients should be working on renewing their status by October 3rd. Becerra adds he'll be focused on the state's lawsuit challenging the president's decision to end the program. He broke the Constitution's protections uh, and he violated federal statutes in moving forward the way he did. He says he chose to file the suit independently of the other states to ensure every argument in defense of the program is heard. Reporting live from downtown L.A., Karen Adams, KNX 1070 News Radio. Well, the fight over DACA goes on. There are many people who are opposed to it, and even some of those who want to help dreamers think the DACA is the wrong way to go about it. The problem is the DACA is only a temporary fix, as in the word defer. It only defers deportation for two years to go to college or work in the U.S. After that, recipients would apply for two-year renewals. None of us will really plan our lives in a two-year increment. Helen Raleigh is a Chinese immigrant and an immigration policy fellow at the Centennial, a conservative think tank. She says DACA is not a path to legal residency or U.S. citizenship. This is really try to put a small bandage on the huge room which is our open immigration system. She believes Congress needs to pass a law granting student visas and work visas for the dreamers, but she says out of fairness to those who follow the law, Congress should not create a special path to citizenship. John Baird, KNX 1070 News Radio. Well, the wait is over. Apple has now unveiled the iPhone 10 at its headquarters in Cupertino. Vice President of Marketing, Phil Schiller, says it has a 5.8 inch display with the highest resolution of any iPhone. It is all screen. It's beautiful to look at. It is incredible to hold. The display fits edge to edge, top to bottom, goes into each corner where it follows the tight curve of the design. It has glass in both the front and the back, using the same super strong formula as iPhone 8. Interesting, it also has facial recognition and a super premium price tag starting at $999. Yeah, it came in under a thousand. The iPhone 10 is coming November 3rd. Oh, Los County Leaders are promising to be $5 coordinate the effort to win the contract to build a second headquarters for the Internet Center. It would be huge. This is a real game changer for L.A. County. They had a huge investment in Seattle with over you know, $30 billion going directly into the economy. This is why we see such excitement and interest. 
from cities within LA County. And she says that the region has a perfect profile for Amazon with a massive and skilled labor pool. Los Angeles County is number one for engineering graduates in the nation. Bids are due to Amazon by mid-October with the decision from the company due sometime next year. Let's see here. We've got a stall to tell you about. This is on the 10 in East Los Angeles. We'll tell you more about that. Your traffic and weather coming up at 12.15. Right now it's 12.10. Sponsored by California Deluxe Windows. California Deluxe Windows. They manufacture the best custom windows and doors right here in SoCal. And they're installed with a technique that's so precise, even if your house is covered with potato chips, they wouldn't crack one. Get a free quote at CaliforniaDeluxeWindows.com. Want to find one of our KNX reporters? Just look wherever it is. Happening around Southern California. Reporting live in Anaheim. Reporting live in Santa Ana. Reporting live in the port of LA. From Accord Hills to Whittier, from Anaheim to Irvine. They're on the scene, reporting live on the stories that impact your life. Southern California's only 24 hour local news and traffic station, KMS 1070. News Radio. Veterans, VA loan rates just dropped to the low threes, near all time lows. It's the perfect time to refinance your home. This is Tom Brown of the Tom Brown Group and Omni Fund. If you recently purchased your home, we can streamline your mortgage into a lower rate after just three payments. We can also help you live the American dream that you fought for and become a homeowner. Whether you're looking to purchase, refinance, or even sell your home, call me, Tom Brown. I offer wholesale rates much lower than the competition. I routinely fund loans that the big guys walked away from and you can include up to payments in the mortgage call me because i don't just serve veterans i am one call me tom brown from the tom brown group at 844-90-VA-11 rates are low dial 844-90-VA-11 call tom brown 844-90-VA-11 or google the tom brown group College football programs know the importance of recruiting. If they want to compete at the highest level, they need to bring on the best talent. People who have the skills and drive to be a success. The same is true in business. Recruiting is vital. And with ZipRecruiter, you'll have a smarter and simpler way to assemble your own winning team. With just one click, you can post your job to over 100 job boards. Then ZipRecruiter's matching technology identifies relevant talent fast. 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within 24 hours. And your ZipRecruiter dashboard helps keep everything in one place. So it's easy to review and rank the candidates with the best experience. You'll be building a powerhouse program in no time. Choose the smartest way to hire. ZipRecruiter. Official hiring partner of the USC Trojans. For your free trial, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash GoTrojans. ZipRecruiter.com slash GoTrojans. Once again, for a free trial, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash GoTrojans. My daughter was bullied at school every day. It got so bad, her grades dropped. She did not want to go to school. She was depressed and needed counseling. The large school was not protecting her no matter how many times I complained. Then I found Hallstrom Academy. Hallstrom provides a small campus community where everybody knows each other. They have zero tolerance for bullying. The differences are celebrated. My daughter is now thriving. It made such a difference. Thanks, Hallstrom Academy. Hallstrom Academy is an accredited private school for grades 6 through 12 and is enrolling now. Visit HallstromNow.com to learn more. HallstromNow.com. A reminder, we have a free Money Matters Retirement Seminar in Irvine, 7 p.m. tonight at Homewood Suites, John Wayne Airport in Arcadia. Saturday or Orange Saturday, September 23rd. If you're retired or retiring soon, don't miss it. Right now, there's a lot of global uncertainty, so it's critical to learn how to help protect your retirement plan. In addition, find out how to plan for retirement cash flow and so much more. Reserve at moneymatters.net. That's moneymatters.net. Or call 800-994-0302 or just stop by. There's nothing good about them. Nothing. They eat 24-7 around the clock. I'm talking termites. They love dry and they love hot so we got lots your answer is dewey pest control no one size fits all approach and no sweet smelling alternatives just effective and proven local treatments or traditional fumes but first get dewey's free inspection call 800-882-8100 because dewey knocks them down and keeps them out that's 800-882-8100 
1214 now in Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station, KNX 1070 News Radio. I'm Chris Seaton. Stories coming up from looks like a very warm summer after an average winter. Beyond that, weather over the next few months is very unpredictable. This Frank Motek, the new iPhones are out. Your money at 1220. Hi, Randy. You're doing the NFL season has begun, and so have the written shots from San Diego media to us here in L.A. Sports in 10 minutes. Orange County Sheriff's deputies will be uh, sent into homeless camps along the Santa Ana River. These stories are more in the next 15 minutes, but first, 1215, traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 5. Here again, Tom Tran. New problem to look out for, northbound side of the 110 near Avenue 43, trying to get into Pasadena. It looks like both vehicles trying to exit off the freeway right now. Not seeing a big delay, but uh, a couple of folks slowing down to see what's going on. Northbound side of the 5, uh, near Stadium Way, at a crash right around Dodger Stadium. That's keeping things busy out of East L.A. Solid until you get up towards the Glendale Freeway. Once you get past that, clear into Burbank, actually clear all the way into Santa Clarita. Southbound side of the 5, you still have some Caltrans work to deal with. It's uh, made its way down near Atwater Village. It's busy from the 134 down towards Los Feliz Boulevard. Once you get past that, you're going to be okay. The 60 has completely cleared up. Earlier accidents are gone. It is wide open on that 60 coming out of the Inland Empire all the way into East L.A. Westbound side of the 10, looking much better as well. There's some Caltrans work happening over near Azusa Avenue. It's only busy for about an exit between Citrus and uh, Azusa Avenue. Once you get past that, you're clear heading into East L.A. as well. Over in Santa Fe Springs, southbound on the 605, slow as it typically is from Washington Boulevard. It's going to be busy down towards the 5, but that is kind of typical for that section of the 605. American Vision Windows end of summer sale lets you pick the savings. Choose any two offers and save up to $2,200 on brand new windows. Call today, 888-363-8181. Your next report, 1225 from Tom Fred. More traffic reports, more often. KNX 1070 News Radio. Hey, good day, everybody, for us today. We'll have one final day of some humidity, but the temperatures ease off a little bit. 84 downtown today. Valley's upper 80s low 90s by tomorrow that will drop off call it mid 70s for the next couple of days downtown with increased marine layer the beaches will be slow to clear at around 70 and the valleys will come in into the low 80s over the next several days with southern california's most accurate and dependable forecast i'm cbs 2's garth camp knx 1070 news radio currently it is sunny and 76 degrees in downtown los angeles at 12 17. two winters ago a monster el nino was supposed to bring us record rainfall it didn't happen last year at this time a low normal rainfall winter was forecast and we broke records for rain and snow up and down the state. Well, this winter, unpredictability will be the norm. Senior meteorologist Ken Clark at AccuWeather tells KNX, forecast has been hard to nail down. We don't have a strong signal uh, either way at this point, whether it's going to be uh, a below normal winter or above normal. I don't personally think we're looking at too much at either side of that. I'm leaning toward maybe slightly uh, less rainfall than normal. It does look like that it will be a, a, a noticeably warmer than normal winter. In fact, Clark uh, tells us that California has seen above average temperatures for all seasons for uh, going on three straight years now. Things are slowly returning to normal at Miami International Airport in South Florida, where limited passenger and cargo flights have resumed. Still hundreds of flights are being canceled as Florida continues to recover from the damage done by Hurricane Irma. The first flight to depart from Miami International, an American Airlines flight to Las Vegas at 7 o'clock this morning. The FAA says the airports in Fort Lauderdale, as well as West Palm Beach, Orlando, Tampa, and Jacksonville are also open again for business. FEMA has estimated the 60% or more of the population of Florida is currently without power in the wake of Irma. Southern California Edison is a warning that we could see a similar situation here if there's a powerful earthquake. Edison spokesman Robert Villegas, still in KNX, the utility, always has to be ready and will learn the lessons of the experience in Florida. We are preparing in the event that we see something so so catastrophic, so major, that it does take a, a group of our customers down for what could be weeks at a time. And so it, it's very concerning and something that we take very seriously and, and continually plan for. And he points out that unlike the storm tracks and forecasts that the Florida utilities got, there will be no warning for some major earthquake here in California. 1219 on KNX, a host of celebrities will be gathering tonight here in Los Angeles, as well as New York and in Nashville, for a nationally televised telethon to help raise money for hurricane relief efforts. Among those taking part, Anthony Anderson, Justin Bieber, Barbara Streisand, uh, Julia Roberts, and George Clooney. This event will be broadcast on all four of the major broadcast networks and on the SCMT cable channel as well. The annual U.S. News and World Report list of best college rankings is out for 2018. UCLA and Berkeley tying for first in the uh, public national school category. 
You see uh, Santa Barbara School is uh, eighth. Irvine, San Diego tied for ninth. Princeton topping the national rankings for the seventh straight year. Two California schools uh, placed in the top ten. Stanford tied with MIT for fifth. And Caltech, which always does very well, came in at tenth. Remember, if you see news happen anytime, anywhere, we invite you to tweet us. You can do so using the hashtag KNX News. Send us your tips, your pictures. If you've got links to videos, send them along as well. And remember, on Twitter, you can always follow us. We are at KNX 1070. It's a 12:20 final hour of the trading day on Wall Street. Let's get a check of your money. Here's Frank Motek. A lot of social media buzz on Apple's big announcements. The new iPhones are out, including the iPhone 10, 10th, 10th anniversary iPhone. The price starts at $999. Pre-orders start October 27th, and they'll ship out on November 3rd. There'll be a 64 gig version, a 256 gig version. They also rolled out a wireless uh, charging pad that'll be uh, coming out uh, sometime next year. Uh, the uh, iPhone X, which is pronounced iPhone 10, by the way, it's the Roman numeral X, they say. Uh, somebody tweeted me, uh, good luck with that, but yeah, iPhone 10 is what they're calling it. does not have a home button that recognizes your face to uh, crank this thing up. It also has dual 12 megapixel cameras. They also rolled out the uh, iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. They uh, do have the home button and uh, fingerprint sensor, and uh, still only a single camera on the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 Plus does have a dual camera system. They also rolled out a new uh, Apple Watch with cellular and uh, you'll be able to take calls on it and do some other things including a stream of music, uh, read maps and so forth. It'll also have Siri and they also unveiled the Apple TV 4K. Apple stock meanwhile in all this has been gyrating right now down $1.57 at 159 and change. This says the overall market continues to kiss all-time highs. The, the S&P 500 at a record high now five points. Now is a 45, NASDAQ of 7. We check your money at 20 and 50. Frank Nutek, KNX 1070. He's ready. Big day for the Trump family. In fact, President Trump can brag of a very special accomplishment today. We'll tell you what it is in just one minute. It's 1221. If you wear dentures or have been told you have no other options, Dr. Rosen and his team has a unique technique to help you get a new smile in one day. Dr. Rosen is a diplomat of the International Congress of Oral Implantology and has completed over 20,000 implants. Call 877-7395-395 and Dr. Rosen will provide a free consultation and CT scan, a value of $1,395. Call 877-7395-395. Or visit 395implants.com to learn more. Hi, Jennifer York here. You come home from vacation only to find your beautiful home flooded because the supply line from your toilet or your washing machine burst. Avoid problems all year long with SoCal Plumber 911. One call and you get the most experienced, reliable, vetted, and licensed plumber available in your area 24-7. And right now, you can get SoCal Plumber's 911 special of $50 off your plumbing service. Call 877-PLUMBER. That's 877-PLUMBER. Or visit SoCalPlumber's911.com. When searching for an accident or personal injury attorney, search calljacob.com. 1223 now on KNX. Congratulations to the Trump family. Yes, President Trump is a grandfather again for the ninth time. His son Eric and the Eric's wife, Laura, welcoming their first child this morning. Eric Trump tweeting a picture of his son, Eric Luke Trump. The Trump Organization tweeted a photo of Eric holding his son and giving him a kiss. The president's son, Don Jr., has five children. His daughter, Ivanka, has three. So congratulations to the president and his family. President Trump's voter commission is meeting in New Hampshire today amid concerns about its mission. The committee's meeting comes after Vice Chairman Kansas Secretary of State Republican Chris Kobach claimed out-of-state voters in New Hampshire helped elect a Democrat to the U.S. Senate. Committee witness, University of New Hampshire Director of Surveys, Andrew Smith. There's certainly been concerns about illegal voting, either non-residents, non-citizens, or people casting multiple votes. But critics are concerned the group will use exaggerated voter fraud claims to push voter suppression efforts. Steve Dorsey, CBS News, Washington. Reminder coming up at the top of the hour at 1 o'clock. It's KNI's In Depth, and we will uh, find out why congestion pricing, that's called congestion pricing on Los Angeles streets, might not work. We'll also have more details about Apple's big announcement today about the uh, iPhone 10. That's KNX In Depth coming up 1 o'clock here on KNX 1070 News Radio. Freeway check just a minute away. First at 1224, a shot across the bow from a San Diego columnist. Here's Randy Cardoon. Yeah, this morning in the San Diego Union Tribune, columnist Kevin Acey apparently couldn't resist getting a little shot in talking about the charges.